Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Dia Wall with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Wednesday, January 1st. A man is dead after a pedestrian crash in Overland Park. Crews closed Neiman Road between College Boulevard and 113th Street to investigate. Officers say two cars hit 45-year-old Agri Itar. Both drivers are cooperating with police. The cause of that crash is under investigation. A man now faces charges accused of killing a woman and her two children before setting the home on fire. The Wyandotte County District Attorney's Office charged Ismael Caballero with three counts of murder and two counts of arson today. KCK firefighters actually smelled the smoke Monday morning and found the victims inside that home near Mill Street and Central Avenue. Police say Caballero was in a relationship with Jasmine Rodriguez, her two kids, America and John Carlos, 14 and just 10 years old. Today, the family set out donation boxes at nearby businesses to help them with expenses. There was nothing but black smoke, black smoke. New video shows a fire damaging several buildings in Independence. A firefighter suffered minor injuries battling the flames along 24 Highway today. Investigators are calling the fire suspicious. Gary Lezak has your forecast now. Hey, Dia, 51 degrees sounds great. A few degrees colder than today. A few clouds mixed in with the sun. 44 degrees on Friday, 40 degrees Saturday, the cold day. Back up to 52 Sunday, but there's also cold front coming through. 44 Monday, 37 Tuesday. No major storm showing up yet. Second half of January looks stormier and colder, so let's enjoy the milder weather while we have it. Remember, you get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.